guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be this really nice fall pumpkin spice inspired eye look i wore this look in my last few videos i think it was my brats video and it was the nordstrom haul i believe but I definitely wanted to film this look for you guys because this is a shadow from Sugar Pill and it's called Pumpkin Spice and this came out last year around Black Friday I believe. It was limited edition and I just saw on social media that they're bringing it back for December for the holidays. So I definitely wanted to get a look for this eyeshadow out there on my channel so you guys can see it, see what the shadow looks like, see what kind of look you can create with that because I'm pretty sure this shadow is going to be limited and you guys do not want to miss out on this because I'm obsessed with it and I definitely think you guys are going to appreciate it for the holidays and just in your makeup collection in general. This is going to be a full face tutorial. I'm going to be starting out with my foundation, just basically my primer, so I'm going to be doing my eye look. I know a couple of you guys have requested me to do like a get ready with me from the very, very start because usually I stick with the eye looks. Anyways, I hope you guys all enjoy. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so to start out with my bare face, I'm going to first moisturize my skin and I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. So obsessed with this stuff, you guys. Like, it's literally the best moisturizer I've ever used. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a heavy bit of this all around my face. So now I'm going to go on with a bit of primer and I'm using the YSL Blur Primer. I'm just going to go ahead and spread this all over my skin as well and prime my skin even further. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to color correcting my face. And I always start out with this green corrector from Makeup Forever. This is the Step 1 Redness Correcting Primer. And I basically put this around like the little few spots on my face that are like red from pimples. And just kind of just kind of color correct it before I go on top of it with my foundation. And then the last primer. I swear you guys. <laughs> so this is the NARS and this is the Pro Prime Instant Line and Pore Perfector. I talked about this in one of my previous monthly favorites and it's so freaking good. It's literally like just another step for my YSL Blur Primer. It just like helps like cover your pores. So I put it right here where I apply my highlight and then I put it on this side on my cheek and then I also just put it in the middle of my forehead. And then I'll just take my finger and I'll just kind of like rub it in so like it like blends it out. You could use a brush but I mean fingers just do it so much faster. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to color correcting my mustache and what I use for that is this concealer from Makeup Forever and this is the HD concealer in the shade R40 which is the darkest one that they have in their line right now. So I hope they come out with like, an, like a pure orange one so that you can like color correct with it. But this one's kind of like reddish orange and it has like that tone in it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just put this all across like my whole mustache just cover it before I put my foundation on. So I kind of just like blend out the edges with my finger and I just like the way that this covers my mustache. All right, so now we're gonna move on to foundation. I'm actually gonna mix it with the MAC Strobe Cream and I'm gonna be wearing the MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation in the shade NC45. So I literally just take a little bit of this on the back of my hand, squeeze some out. And then I'm going to take some of the Strobe Cream from MAC and I'm gonna squeeze a little drop of that into there. I'm just taking this little mixing spatula from MAC and I'm just going to just mix them. Okay, so I just take this and I just go across my face and just like apply it and I'm just going to blend this in with a brush and the brush that I've been using is this glam core contour brush hey now that we are looking orange <laughs> I'm going to be moving on to powder my face and all of that the powder that I've recently been using to set my entire face is from MAC and it's a studio fix perfecting powder and it's the shade medium deep I think this is the wrong shade but I'm just gonna use this until I run out of it so that I can buy the next shade. And I'm using this brush right here. This is a new brush from the company Peach and Pearl. And they actually sent me these brushes. Are these not the cutest like little brushes? Like I freaking live for it. They're like rose gold and they're pink. I don't think this has like a number, but it's like a huge like powder brush. So I just use this to like set my makeup. So I literally like take this because I hate the way that this powder like sprinkles out. It's like one of these things like the Makeup Forever powder, but I have to like sprinkle that out on a second container and I don't have an extra empty one. So I literally just take my brush and I like cover it and like, like shake the jar so that the powder gets on the brush and I literally just take this and like powder my face. Okay so now I'm literally going to take a damp beauty blender and just run this across my whole face just to help blend in the powder and the foundation and just set it. Okay now moving on to concealer. The concealer that I'm going to be wearing is from MAC and it's the Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NW25 and I'm going to be setting it with this powder right here. This is from Sephora and I've been using this for literally ever and it's seriously like my favorite powder and this is the Sephora Bright Set Powder. 
So you can see like there's like the cover and it's literally the loose version and it's like a yellow powder So it's kind of like Ben Nye banana powder, but it's like less yellow I absolutely love this if you are like of color and you are looking for a nice powder to set your concealer Because the Laura Mercier one is way too white on me It just gives me a really like, like weird cast and I don't like the way that it looks So I'm literally going to take this concealer and blend this onto my face my finger and blend it and I do my concealer in like sections so I'll do like one section set it and then do the next one as opposed to putting all the concealer on and then blending it because I don't want it to the concealer to like dry out and like set too quickly and I will take a dry beauty blender and I just pick up the powder onto the beauty blender and I just like set my the area that I just put the concealer on. Now moving on to contouring, I literally just did this contour the other day in my video and I was using powder contours but I've been recently grabbing this product. This is the Anastasia Cream Contour Kit and I'm just taking this dark shade right here. It's in the shade Chocolate. So I'm literally taking this shade on a brush and I'm going to just contour my cheeks. The brush that I'm going to use is this one right here from Sigma. It's a Precision Flat P80 brush. So I'll just draw like a little line right there. And same thing on the other side. Take a little bit on my forehead. I'm going to blend this contour out with this MAC brush. You guys can see like it's kind of like a flat sided brush and it's the 163. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly just blend this contour in really quick. I love that this brush is flat because it just like blends out the contour really fast for me. And it's like no effort. And to further my contour, I'm just going to go over that with a mineralized skin finish from MAC and it's in the shade Dark Deepest. And it's just this really nice bronze shade, so I'm just going to go ahead and blend a little bit of that on my cheeks. This is a Hakuhoto SJ110 brush, and I'm just going to take a little bit of this on my brush and just, like, blend it in. I'm going to take my beauty blender and, like, help just run that on top of my contour. I just want, like, the powder to, like, sink into my skin. So now I'm just going to take the beauty blender and blend in all that powder as opposed to swiping it away on my face. So basically just take the beauty blender, like, all over your whole entire face. Okay, so my face is looking a little like kind of like off tone in color. So I'm just going to go over my whole entire face with one more powder. I know so many powders. This is a mineralized skin finish in dark gold, and this is what I used to use to set my entire foundation. I'm going to take this on this fluffy brush that I use to apply the other MAC powder, and I'm just going to dust this all along my whole entire face to just help like blend in all of this stuff. All right, now before I move on to my eyes, I'm just going to go ahead and finish up my face and I'm going to be applying my Guerlain Meteorite Pearls. These are in the shade four, which is the darkest one out of the bunch. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply this all over my face. I'm using my Wayne Goss, I think this is a face brush. I don't know what brush this is called, but it's just like a really huge, like large fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna go ahead and dust this all over my face. So I literally just take my brush into the pearls. If you've never used pearls before, you guys, it's like the best thing to like use to set your makeup. And I'm just taking it and I'm just rubbing it, running it across my whole entire face. And once I do that, my face is complete and now we can move on to the eyes. I'm going to start out by applying some eyeshadow primer. This is the Smashbox 24 Hour Photo Finish Primer. And I'm just going to grab a brush to do that. The brush that I'm using is the Sigma P82 brush. All the shadows for today's look are from Makeup Forever, and this is my Makeup Forever palette. I just deposited all my shadows. And the first shadow that I'm going to pull into my crease is this like light brown shade right here. And I'll go ahead and put the number right down below because I'd have to pop it out and tell you guys what the number is. But it's a matte shadow. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that with this Hakuhoto brush, and this is the G5522 brush. So I'm just going to pick up this shadow and dust it into my crease pretty like heavily. Now I'm going to move on to the next shade and it's going to be this rusty terracotta orangey earth brown shade from Makeup Ever. It's also a matte one. I will put the number down right here. And I'm going to be switching to this brush from Hakuhoto. This is the J5523. And I'm going to be picking this color up on this brush and just kind of blending this into that exact crease and just blending it downwards to just help just give more definition and color to my crease. Alright, sorry, I'm switching to a clean brush because I was using this the other day and it has like a, like a reddish tone on that brush. So same thing, just picking up the color on this crease brush and then blending that into the crease. So once you do that, I'm going to stick to the same exact brush. And the next shade that I'm going to pull into my crease is this kind of like reddish tone right here. It's like a really nice matte red brown shade. Actually not even brown, it's just red. 
So I'm going to take that on this brush, which is the same exact brush, and I'm just going to pick up a little bit of this, and I'm going to blend this into the outer corner of this eye look to just help give like kind of like a gradient of like a like a reddish color on the outside, and then it just fades more towards like an orange in the inside. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this onto the outer corner of my eyes. So I'm actually going to move on to my lower lash line, and I'm going to be taking all three of those shades and dusting it along my lower lash line as well, starting out with a nice soft brown shade. I'm going to be using this brush from Peach and Pearl, and I think this is like kind of like a little tiny detailer eyeshadow brush. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit of this light brown shade and then just dust along my lower lash line. Using the same brush, I'm going to switch to all the other shades as well, starting out with the orange. I'm going to pick a little bit of this up, and my lower lash line is going to be heavily smoked out because I'm going to be lining, lining it with the black eyeliner and smoking that out as well, but I'm going to actually lay down some shadow first. I didn't do this when I originally started my eyeshadow look, and it just took forever to just blend out my lower lash line, so I'm going to go ahead and start out with some shadow first by diffusing the lower lash line. Alright guys, none of my liners are working in my waterline, so I'm going to have to switch to a gel liner. And this is the Inglot Gel 77 liner, so I'm just going to take this and then run this along my lower lash line. This works surprisingly well in the waterline. I've never used this product in the waterline, and it's like literally like way better than a freaking eyeliner. So I'm sold, now I need every color. Okay, I'm very happy with how that turned out. It's way better than when I originally did it. And so now I'm gonna move on to smoking out my lower lash line even further. And I'm going to take this little Hakuhoto brush. This is like a pencil brush, kind of like a pencil brush, kind of like a short shader brush. And I'm going to be taking the red shade that I didn't use on my lower lash line yet. I'm going to be taking that on this brush and just kind of like smudging down that black liner onto my lashes so it like smokes out my lower lash line. So I'm just taking some of this shade and then I'm just gonna go and smudge out my lower lash line. And just to clarify, when I say smudge, I'm literally taking the shadow and I'm just like rubbing it directly on top of that liner and I'm just like rubbing it back and forth to just help diffuse and smudge the liner. And that's how I'm smudging. So it's not like so like black in my waterline. I'm kind of like bringing it down onto my lashes to just make it look a little like muddy. And do you see the difference between this side and this side? This is like more like precisely lined and this one's more smudgy and messy. That's the look that I was going for. So just pulling the lower lash line down and like just rubbing the shadow on top of that inner eyeliner and smudging it out. And I'm actually going to go back into my waterline one last time with the liner to just help line my waterline since it's already smoked out. Okay, so now that I've relined my waterline, I'm going to be moving on to the overall shadow all over the crease. And that's basically the focal point of this look. And it's a sugar pill eyeshadow. It's in the shade called Pumpkin Spice. They came out with this shadow, I believe, around Black Friday last year, last holidays. To be honest, you guys, I put it away and I never used it. I can't even imagine that I never used it this whole time until now when I was going through my makeup and I found it. And I also saw on social media that they're bringing it back this year, this holiday season, I think in December. So I definitely wanted to film a look for you guys using this shadow and put it up there on my channel so that you guys can see it and let you guys know that they are bringing this shadow back in case you wanted to get your hands on it. It is freaking stunning. So anyways, stop rambling about the shadow. I'm going to go ahead and put this all over my lids and I'm going to be applying that shadow with this brush from MAC. This is a MAC 282 brush and this is a little short handled one. This is the Rihanna brush. I believe this is a permanent brush from MAC so go ahead and just apply this all over your lids. And before I apply it onto my lids, I'm actually going to intensify the pigment on my lids with this liquid sugar from Eye Candy Cosmetics. It's essentially like MAC Fix Plus. And I use this all the time whenever I do like glitter on my lids. It's just like a nice alternative to Fix Plus. I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand and then I'm going to go ahead and apply this onto both my eyelids. So now that my eyelid is dampened with that Eye Candy Cosmetics, I'm going to go ahead with my brush and then just go straight into this Sugar Pill eyeshadow. This eyeshadow is freaking beautiful. It seriously looks like pumpkin spice, exactly like the name. So I have it on my brush, and I'm going to go ahead and just apply this onto my eyelids. Do you guys see what this looks like? It literally looks like a foil on my eye. How freaking stunning. And this is like gorgeous. I'm obsessed. So do the same thing to the other eye. And the shadow actually just got all over my face. So I'm just going to take my little powder brush and just like dust off my face to just get all that glitter and shimmer off. And for this look, I also line my upper lash line with the gel liner from Inglot. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. If you wanna create a wing for this look, you can totally do that. I'm just gonna line my upper lash line and not do a wing because I don't wanna cover up the shimmer shadow all over my eyelids. So once I do that, I'm going to be moving on to curling my lashes and applying some mascara. I'm going to be using the Giorgio Armani Eccentrico Mascara. 
Okay, so moving on to false eyelashes. The eyelashes that I'm going to be wearing are a brand new pair that I've never worn before, aside from when I wore this look the other day. And it's from Scott Barnes, and he has his own line of mink lashes. And these are in the style called Ursula, and they literally are so beautiful. I could not breathe when I bought these lashes, honestly. I bought these lashes at the makeup show, and with these lashes, you needed like a dramatic eye look. And because my eye is like so colorful, I absolutely love these lashes for this look. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and glue these lashes on and then I will come right back and finish the look. Okay guys, so my lashes are on. I freaking love these lashes. Look at them. Are they not like so cute? So now moving on to my lips and my eyebrows. I already primed my lips with my MAC Prep and Prime lips. So just let that settle in there on my lips. And I'm going to go ahead and move on to my brows. So for my brows, I'm using my Anastasia Brow Definer in the shade Dark Brown. And I'm going to go ahead and fill my brows in really quickly. Okay, brows are on, and actually really quickly before I move on to my lips, I'm going to take some of my mineralized skin finish in Dark Golden, and I'm going to dust this right below my brow bow to just help blur out my eyeshadow because I don't highlight underneath my brows anymore. And I'm just going to take a clean eyeshadow brush. This is a J5533 from Hakahoto, and I'm just picking up a little bit of this powder, and I'm just going directly underneath my brows. Now we're going to move on to the lips, and I'm going to be doing this little lip combo right here. I wanted to go for a dark lip for this look, but when I had the look on the other day, there's already color on my eyes, so I don't want to like kind of contradict that and then put like a dark color. So I just feel like a nude lip color is safe. So I picked up some lip products that I haven't used in quite some time. I'm going to go ahead and line my lips first with this MAC lip liner in the shade Hover. Okay, so the lipstick that I'm going to be wearing on top of that is from Givenchy, and this is one of their Le Rouge Givenchy lipsticks and it's in the shade 101 Beige Mousse Lip. I believe that's how you pronounce it. It's basically number one in the shade, the, the family. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch it right here on my arm so you can see it. And it's just a really nice, like a nude shade. I'm going to go ahead and put this lipstick on top of it and I think I'm going to try to apply it with a lip brush. So this is a MAC 228 brush, but I'm going to go ahead and apply it first and then I'll blend it out with a lip brush. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and top that with lip gloss and this is from Burberry and this is one of their, I think they only have one lip gloss. It's called Lip Glow Nude Beige in the shade number 9. And this just looks like it'll pair nicely with this lip combo. So I'm going to go ahead and put this lip gloss on. Alright, so there is the lip combo and the last thing for this look is applying some highlight and the highlight, I'm going to go ahead and pick my highlight brush first. This is the G5539 brush and I'm going to be wearing this highlight. I wore this the other day in the look and I liked it. So this is one of the Becca shimmering, what are they called? Shimmering Skin Perfectors and it's in the shade Rolls Gold. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this one for this look. So I'm going to take this brush. This is from Hakuhoto. This is the I021 brush. It's just really, really like fine. I'm going to take a little bit and I'm going to highlight my nose. Okay, I'm going to take this little pencil brush. This is from Hakuhoto. I don't even know the name. I mean, I'm literally just grabbing all my clean brushes and I'm going to pop a little bit of this into the inner corners of my eyes. I want you to do that. This is the final look. Like I mentioned, I absolutely love this Sugar Pill Shadow in Pumpkin Spice. I think it's so pretty and it's like perfect for fall. It seriously is like so cute and I honestly should buy it just for the name alone because it's just so adorable. I believe this is going to be limited edition again for this year and I just definitely think that it's just something different as opposed to all the other orange eyeshadows out there on the market. You don't really see like orange eyeshadows that much. So I just feel like it's worth it just for that. <laughs> Alright you guys, so this is a completed look. I hope you guys all enjoyed this tutorial. I'm obsessed with the Sugar Pill eyeshadow. I definitely think you guys should check it out. So let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys all in the next video.